Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John of course, for the 22nd of May. Well, we were talking about this rise in the green, and then we were looking for, well, support to kind of hold itself at this particular point, uh, because we didn't have steel uh, coming, crossing below uh, cyan, I mean, uh, the, yeah, the cyan right down here, which would indicate much stronger um, short situation, as well as we would have liked to have seen a well, if you were looking for the short case, a separation where uh, cyan rises. Right now we're just getting flat, which is kind of consolidation at this particular point. Um, you know, like I was talking about before, we expected this to kind of roll over and then make a new um, higher red DOC that would be the next level that would, you know, push things up. It hasn't happened uh, exactly at this particular point, um, but we're looking for that first shakeout increase. And if that happens, then we'll be well, all set for what looks to be just a stabilization point uh, at this particular time. NASDAQ wasn't as strong, but the difference was we started to see, uh, so we were very close to that steel crossing below, but then short-term buyers popped back into it. Still very weak from a red and um, mid-term and long-term buyers, relatively speaking to shorts. They're not activating in this, so they're not really convinced that uh, the sky is falling, uh, but neither are any new buyers available to really uh, do anything at this particular point. The stabilization of the euro helps. Again, like we pointed out before, this is going to start to turn around red here. Uh, orange is finally dipped through. You already got the cross of steel for the bullish case uh, a little bit earlier, so short-term buyers have turned around into it. That would create a uh, higher red DOC pivot and at or near matching lows. That could have a little bit more uh, substantial power to it uh, if it's able to really uh, finalize that signal. Gold continue to be weak in this. This just indicates uh, lack of sentiment for inflation and or um, any kind of buildup that's going to really uh, royal markets from that standpoint. There wasn't a whole lot to talk about from a 5K standpoint. We had that buy from the previous day um, and pretty much nothing changed. We just kept sliding across and going higher. It was really kind of boring. Uh, produced a couple of little buys and then by midday uh, we got our first short signal briefly right there and from that standpoint uh, it just retraced uh, modestly and then kind of came right back and uh, you sort of knew that it really wasn't going to produce anything um, more than that uh, as it Shakeout went positive, really pretty much right at the 50%. And then a couple bars later, you ended up with the full buy X's, which took us all the way back to the 100%. Um, then after we closed, the, the, the usual fill back in. There wasn't a whole lot to fill. We had the dip below the red line uh, right down here, uh, which is now filled in pre-market and a couple of positive extremes off of the uh, pump, but those got taken out with the first retrace. So everything kind of handled itself and was just pretty much calm and insignificant. Uh, that 2870 uh, algo level from before was perfect resistance, uh, which means it just wasn't enough new money coming in to really push past that yet. So we'll see if a uh, second move back up here, uh, they're able to uh, produce anything. But it's kind of calm and inconsequential day. The range has gotten a little bit more narrow uh, in the second half of the day uh, from the nice little increase. So holding pattern for now and we'll just have to take what uh, gives us at this particular point. Uh, I think as we get closer to uh, the end of the week here and uh, mid-month I think that things are going to have to start uh, expanding again. We've had quite a decent amount of range, so uh, good to have a little bit of a slowdown from that, but we don't mind having uh, gyrations, they're always good. As always though, um, there wasn't anything relatively interesting for Tuesday, if we've got something happening today, I will certainly get it up on our uh, Skype chat and we'll go from there. As always, trade well, we'll talk to you later.